Hi, welcome to another video. So, Klein has launched their own CLI and sub-agents feature, and I thought that I'd talk about this as well. Klein has been missing in action for a while now. Their updates have been a bit slow, and that gap was taken up by things like Rue, which also got a bit slow. And now, it's been taken up by Kilo, and they've been doing really good work. Like, a blatant example of this is that Haiku, the new model by Anthropic, doesn't work either with Klein or Rue because for some reason, Haiku just doesn't work with prompt-based tool calling. It needs native tool calling within the API request. Klein and Rue still haven't implemented it, but Kilo already has it, and they're the first to do so. So, yeah, you get the point. Klein has become like the red hat of Linux, which is now more geared towards enterprises, something I didn't really use it for. Anyway, they've been refactoring things, making it more extensible by bifurcating the back end and front end of the extension. That's also what allowed them to create their JetBrains plugin and stuff like that. So, because this has been bifurcated, they are now able to also make a CLI over the same agentic framework that Klein uses. Their CLI is more geared towards people who want to implement Klein into something like a CI or CD workflow, but you can still use it locally. It gives you the same capabilities that Klein does because it uses the same agentic system in the backend. This allows you to integrate it into things like Slack, Discord, CI, or CD workflows, and things like that as well. So basically, you can build remote coding agents and integrate them into a ton of places. They say you can run parallel clients to tackle multiple GitHub issues at once, build Slack bots, GitHub actions, or mobile apps on top, and even start tasks in the terminal, and continue in your IDE with the same state. Yes, this is one of the things I really liked the fact that it almost syncs across the terminal and VS code states, which is pretty great. Another thing that they've launched with this is that Klein's VS code extension can now also spawn multiple sub-agents that can get tasks done for you. This is very similar to how the sub-agents in Claude code work. You give it a task, and it can orchestrate multiple sub-agents to achieve that task for you which is pretty great if you ask me. I think Rue already had the orchestrator mode for this for a while now, but this is much more fleshed out and a tad bit faster as well. Now, let's get into it and check this out too. You can install Klein in your terminal quite easily with a command. Then you'll have to run it with the Klein command and it'll get started. At first, it'll ask you to set up a provider so set it up accordingly. If you want to change it later down the line, then you can also set it up with the Klein auth command, which should open up the provider options, and you can add a new provider there and stuff like that. Then, we can go ahead and start using it accordingly. The interface here is nothing extraordinary. It's pretty simple. You can just send a message, and it'll get started on it. It starts in the plan mode, which is an interesting choice, but you can change it with the slash act command, and that will switch it to act mode, which is great. You can also hit control plus E to open an editor and write your prompt there, which is cool. It's very similar to how Klein's VS Code counterpart works, so I won't go too deep into that. There are three or four major subcommands as well and let me tell you about them. First of all, you can start a Klein instance with the Klein command along with your task, and there are also some flags. Like, there's the O flag for one-shot, full autonomous mode. There's also Y for YOLO mode, allowing you to enable fully autonomous mode as well. V is for verbose, and you can also set the mode via the mode flag. There are also some little things here and there, but I won't talk about them as much. Now, let's look at the Klein sub-agents feature as well. 
you'll have to head on over to VS Code and make sure you've updated Klein to the latest version. Now, go to the Settings, and in the Feature Settings, just enable the Subagents feature. This requires you to have the Klein CLI installed as well. Without that, it won't work because it basically runs the terminal Klein CLI to spin up multiple instances, which is pretty great if you ask me. After enabling this, you can go ahead and ask it to spawn multiple subagents for whatever task you want and stuff like that. It'll also do it on its own when needed. I won't go into too much depth about this either because it's basically just Klein, but in a subagent config. I really like it because it works pretty well. This is probably one of the major updates in the last three or six months or something like that. So, yeah, I like these updates. The CLI agent is something I've been looking forward to for a while now, and this is a really good update for sure. There aren't a ton of updates, but Klein is a bit faster and less memory hungry these days because of the whole bifurcation thing. And we'll see how well the updates go after this. There hasn't been any major feature in the last six months, if I remember correctly, so this is good to see. One feature that I really liked is that if you use a local model, you get a compact system prompt option, which is a really good addition for local models. I saw it just here. Anyway, I'll still be using Kilo because their features are really good, and most of that stuff was already there. The autocomplete there has also made me switch over. So, yeah, I'll keep using it. But this is also pretty great. So, I hope that we get something new here, soon as this stuff is new to Klein, but has been existing for a while in other tools now. It almost makes Klein feel like a legacy tool at this point. They used to really innovate on new features, but it doesn't seem the case anymore. So, I hope that this period of them making their code base better pays off in the long term, and I hope that we get some new and great updates as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!